Hello Wildcats, I'm Sarah Gomedo and these are your announcements for the week of September 8th. I hope you had a great three-day weekend, and welcome back to Wildcat TV. Here are your announcements for the week. Students that are enrolled in a college course, please be advised that the last day to drop is September 11. Please contact Mrs. Silva if you have any concerns regarding your class. Due to our three-day weekend, we will not be having periods 1 through 6 this Friday, September 11. You will only be required to log into your first, second, and third period this Friday. Cheer trials will be taking place on September 8th from 3 through 5 p.m. here on campus on the field. Bring solid colored clothes you can move in or Bishop Connedy merch. Sneakers and masks are required. Seniors, do not wait until the last minute to ask your teachers for letters of recommendation. Right now is the time to do it. Well, Wildcats, those are all the announcements for you. Now let's pass it on to Ms. Bustos for one last update. Good morning, Wildcats. This is Ms. Bustos. I'm the Marketing and Admissions Director. Here's a marketing update. This year, we are not having classroom visits, so let me introduce my new approach to marketing. I call it Classroom Visits. Yay! Isn't the concept amazing? I think so. My calendar is already Zooming with appointments. I will be calling upon ambassadors and students to Zoom in with me to share your experiences here at Bishop Kennedy, Our Lady of Loretto. So ladies, please check your emails on a daily basis for my invitation to Zoom in with me and your elementary school. I am Ms. Bustos and I approve this message. Have a terrific day, ladies. You rock. Thank you for the heads up, Ms. Bustos. Hi, Wildcats. I know that you have been waiting for another sports update, and this is what is happening regarding sports. Last week, Mr. Johnson posted a video on YouTube regarding sports. According to Mr. Johnson, the first sports to begin this fall will be cross country and volleyball. As for spring, we will have basketball, golf, cheer, soccer, and softball. Please start contacting your coaches for more information. If you would like more information regarding sports, Please look at Mr. Johnson's video that he has uploaded to YouTube. Now let's pass it over to ASB for more updates. Hey Wildcats, today's daily announcement from me is that starting tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll be having Club Rush. Each club will be making a video of their own of what their club consists of. So, so pay close attention so you can make the right choice to join the club. And be checking your emails because Ms. Navarro will be sending out Google Classroom codes to the clubs you would like to join to take the next step of applying to that club. Thank you, ladies. That's all the announcement for me. Thank you for the update, ASB. Good evening, Wildcats. My name is Emily Suniga, and I'll be your host for today. Today, we have Ashton, who's a freshman, and Itzel, who's also a freshman. We all love animals, and today we're, we're going to be talking about wildlife animals. For each question you answer correctly, you get one point, and the first to reach the most point wins. If your opponent gets the question incorrect, you have the opportunity to steal their point. If you know the answer to the question, raise your hand high and give us your answer. There are three questions in total. Good luck. Are you ladies ready? I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. So the first question is, what animal has two arms and two legs and loves swinging on trees? Ashlyn? A monkey? Correct. Second question, what animal is considered one of the fastest animals in the world? Itzel? Cheetah. That's correct. And the last question. What animal has three toes and is extremely slow? Ashlyn? Sloth? That's correct. 
Congratulations to Ashlyn. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe and wash your hands. Don't forget to wear your mask and have a great day. Go Wildcats. Congrats, Ashlyn. This week, we decided to ask three Wildcats. What are three tips you want to give to students to not be bored during quarantine? Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Haley. I'm currently a freshman. Three tips I would like to give you guys in order not to be bored during quarantine is to watch Netflix. Honestly, Netflix is doing its job now. They're putting really good shows and movies. I'm really proud of Netflix right now. Second tip, probably just to download TikTok if you don't have TikTok and it's honestly going to take most of your time. Super addictive. Not so good. And step number three is probably just to go around the park, get some fresh air. If you have a skateboard, go around and skate. If you have a soccer ball, just play with your family, some soccer, basketball. And it's honestly going to make quarantine a little bit less um, stressful. Hopefully this helps. Hello, Wildcat TV. My name is Paulina Vidriales, and I am currently a freshman. Here are three tips to stay entertained during quarantine. You could go outside, whether it be riding a bike or playing a sport, and remember to always stay hydrated. You could also read a book, or lastly, organize and decorate your room. I hope these tips helped. Hey guys, my name is Bella Olmos, and I'm currently a freshman here at Bishop Convy. Today I'm going to be telling you guys three tips on how not to be bored in quarantine. My first tip for you guys would be to probably start a brand of hobby. Literally just Google hobbies I can do at home and just pick one of them. They really do help the time pass by. Um, my second tip for you guys would be to listen to music. Trust me, I know everyone says this, but listening to music actually does like, help the time pass. My third tip for you guys would be to just organize everything. When you organize, it helps you keep track of your responsibilities. Hope these tips help. Thank you for the great advice, students. Now, for this week's teacher's tip, we decided to ask just one staff member of our BCO family for three tips on what to do if you're having a bad day at school. Let's see what three tips Ms. Mercy will be giving us this week. Hello, ladies. My name is Ms. Mercy, and I work oh. here at the Bishop Kennedy. I here work here at the office. So anyway, the question that I have for today is that if you're not having a good day uh, during school, what can you do to make it better? Okay, well, I have a few things. One, first of all, when you feel overwhelmed, that things are not going well, what would you do? What would I do? I would stop. Put everything aside for a few minutes and think of yourself only. Recognize that you're not feeling well and ask yourself, what can I do to come out of this? What makes me feel good? Music, a hobby, quiet time, prayer. Think of something nice that you would like to do. First of all, maybe listen to some music, maybe some instrumental music. Um, do you like to color? Something that you can do right where you're at. Um, and then spend some time in silence in prayer. Prayer is important. Prayer asking for God's guidance. He will help you sort things out and help you with your day. There's a quote from Mother Teresa. God speaks in silence of the heart. Listening is the beginning of prayer. So prayer is very important. But again, recognize that you're not feeling well. Recognize that things are not going well for you that day. But, you know, spend some time to yourself. Spend some of that quiet time, the quality time. So that's my recommendation, girls. So thank you very much. I hope this helps. If not, give us a call here at the office. We are here to help you. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, Mrs. Mercy. We truly appreciate you and your dedication to the school. This wraps up episode three of Wildcat TV. Thank you, Wildcats, and I'll see you next week for another weekly update.